everybody. Time stations today. Uh, station one is going to be up here with the boxes in the hall. Station two is going to be on that far side of the room with the pitches. Station three is going to be right down the middle right here. Station four is going to be in front of the bikes in this open area. Station five will be on the black rubber mat over on the other side. Uh, station one, active rest. One of you is going to get into a 90 degree wall sit and you're going to get comfy. 90 degrees means 90 degrees. We're not up here locked out. We're not with our feet out in front of us. 90 degrees, guys. Hang out here as long as you can. While your partner does power steps and tricep dips, we're going to be driving through with that foot that is on the box. We're going to be hanging out over the box and getting some distance between you and the box. We're not hanging out away from the box through his uh, soccer taps. After he does 40 power steps, he's going to drop down and do 10 tricep dips. But close to the box, getting plenty of bend, and the elbows going straight down to the ground, all the way up, all the way down. After he does 40 and 10, air high five, give your partner the guns, whatever you feel like doing on your, uh, on your uh, transition, and then your partner's gonna come in and do 40 and 10. Power steps are going down by 10 every round, and dips are going up by 10 every round. Uh, active rest here is going to be plank with a side tap. You're just going to get into a, uh, a palm plank or a forearm plank, and you're just going to tap your toe out to the side, alternating left, right, left, right. While your partner does bench curtsies, we're just going to keep doing 10 on each side for the next seven minutes. It's going to be done over there. Uh, on the benches, some of those are collapsible, so if the bench is too high for you, you can collapse it down. But we are simply going to go from side to side. We're going to try to keep that resistance on that leg that is on the box. So very little uh, break whenever you come from the side to side. Just keep that tension on that leg that's on the bench. And then you're going to switch and do 10 on the other side. You and your partner are just going to be rotating through that for seven minutes. Station three. Active rest is going to be Scott Punch. You have something reasonable here, guys. Nothing too heavy. Uh, and we are just going to be nice and controlled, alternating overhead presses with the dumbbells. While our partner does a uh, push up circuit, this is going to be done with your uh, dumbbells. We're going to do two, we're going to start off with two with each variation. So we're going to do two on the inside, nice and close. Two on the outside, nice and wide. Then we're going to do two staggered one way, and then we're going to do two staggered the other way. All right, if you need to drop your knees, obviously, please feel free. After you get done with your two, 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 uh, then your partner will come in and do their twos, and then you're gonna increase by four until time runs out. Uh, station four, active press is going to be sit up. If you wanna hook your feet on the, uh, the bikes or whatever, uh, to stabilize yourself, you can while your partner does hammer curls. Uh, the sit-ups, arms across the chest, elbows to knees. No rep count, so no need to try to get in a hurry. Go nice and controlled. Uh, hammer curls, starting at 80. Grab something a little bit lighter on the 80, okay? That's quite a bit of rep. So we're gonna go nice and controlled, all the way down, all the way up, full range motion. After you get done doing 80, your partner's gonna come in behind you and do 80. We're going down by 20s on the hammer curls to 20. After you do that, there's still time left on the clock. Shoot back right back to that 80. Uh, station five is gonna be back there. Muffin top eliminators. You can use uh, two different sizes kettlebell here if you want, does not matter. Uh, this is where your active rest is. You're gonna get a uh, slight stretch, and then you're gonna get a squeeze. Slight stretch, and then squeeze. When you're on one side, that's where you're, uh, you'll switch arms when your partner switches arms. And then we'll do crunches on the other side. Like the main movement is gonna be single arm rows with that same kettlebell. Left elbow, left knee, nice uh, tight back, hips square to the ground, rowing that kettlebell into your body. Nice and controlled. No need to get into a hurry with these. Squeeze when you get up to the top. So he's gonna do two right, two left, then your partner, partner will come in and do two right, two left. We're just increasing by two until time runs out. Any